The 28th annual Hamptons International Film Festival is just around the corner, and while it might look a little different this year, there are many ways to safely take in some of the world's best films. Here with more is the festival's artistic director, David Nugent. Welcome, David. It's so good to see you. Good to see you too, Sarah. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, so as we mentioned, this is the 28th year of the festival. How exciting. What sets it apart from other festivals. We're a nonprofit here on the east end of Long Island. We're a year-round arts organization, and the festival that we put on is the biggest program we do all year. We have a couple of signature programs. We have one program, which is called Views from Long Island, which, as it sounds, focuses on films and filmmakers from Long Island. We have an Air, Land, and Sea program, which focuses on environmental issues, as well as our Conversations With program, which started out 28 years ago when Steven Spielberg did a surprise conversation with Martin Scorsese. And one other thing that sets us apart is we're the only film festival in the world to have screened the film that would go on to win Best Picture for 10 years in a row now, which is pretty exciting. So this year, like a lot of festivals here in the States in particular, we're going to be doing a combination of virtual screenings, which you can watch at home, as well as drive-ins. Our opening night film this year is wonderful. It's the world premiere of a film called Withdrawn Arms, which is about Tommy Smith, the Olympic runner, who in 1968 held his fist aloft and uh, had a, a big problem after that with the way it was perceived. Closing Night's another film I'm excited about. It's by Regina King. It's called One Night in Miami. It's about one night in 1964 in which in a hotel room, Cassius Clay, Malcolm X, Sam Cooke, and Jim Brown got together and spent the night kind of just talking about where things were at that time. It's a really, really beautifully done film. Yeah, well, I know also you have a big supporter in Alec Baldwin. He supported the festival for many years. What has his support meant to the festival? Yeah, Alec has been around for about 20 years being involved in the festival, and he's been our co-chair for the last six years, and he's been immensely helpful. This year, when COVID-19 hit, he really stepped up, and uh, he helped by recording weekly intros, and, uh, and we presented some of our previous programs that we had done, which hadn't been seen yet. So he recorded those, did them on Instagram and on our newsletters, and put those out. But he's, he's been very helpful, and we're really thankful to have his uh, support. Yeah. Well, what are some of the other films people should be getting excited about? We have a lot this year. We have the U.S. premiere of a film called I Am Greta, about Greta Thunberg, the uh, environmental activist, which we're very, very excited about. The East Coast premiere of a film called Minari, which is wonderful, starring Stephen Young, which was the best-reviewed film out of the Sundance Film Festival this year. A film called Gunda, which is by a Russian filmmaker. It's a Norwegian film. It's silent, black and white, and it's about a pig and it has no dialogue. So... <laughs> You, you, you got me. You got me. I know. No, it's, it's an amazing film. I mean, it seems like it's going to be an amazing festival this year. Yeah, we're really excited about it. You know, it's going to be different. Uh, after 27 years, it's going to be a new 28th year, but I think it's coming together really well. Well, the 28th Annual Hamptons International Film Festival is from October 8th through the 14th. For more info, visit HamptonsFilmFest.org. David, thanks so much. Thank you, Sarah.